this is a complete tutorial on how to use this DJI Osmo Pocket, how to access menu, some tips and uh, very good advice, how to use those three modes, FPV, tilt mode, uh, follow mode, and how to access all the other settings for this amazing gimbal. So if you plan to buy this gimbal, this amazing uh, gadget or if you have it already then let me show you how to access all the settings and how to use this device at maximum potential so everything is explained here from um, shortcuts settings and some uh, some great uh, advices for um, button button shortcuts and um, all kind of this uh, stuff so let's start using this device first of all you have to turn it on just press it this button and in a few seconds everything is active you have this touch screen and you can navigate uh, to various settings just by swiping from up to down down to up left or right on the screen so you have four settings for the four screens for the setting for the settings you have also this information on the screen and this tiny slider you can control the camera just drag it up or down and you can control the camera as you can see here also on this touch screen you have the mode info in this moment it's photo in the left also you have the battery and the SD card capacity so swipe like this from the from um, up to down just like on Android uh, when you see notifications and you have these settings here you have a uh, beautify mode activate it, activate it or not like this swipe and you have these settings you have the battery you have calibration option uh, you have the tilt control on off and also you have the possibility to choose the time interval uh, to power off this gimbal very very simple swipe again and you have information about your SD card you can very easy format this SD card here just like this as you can see in a few seconds um, if you have accessories you will see them here and you will have some settings uh, also the flick anti flicker screen 50 hertz or 60 depending on the light in uh, in buildings and some info about this gimbal uh, go back by sli sliding like this or press the one click on the on off button it's uh, acting like a back button uh, if you if you slide um, like this from the bottom to to up you will have this uh, shortcut they are very useful first shortcut it will calibrate your device it will recenter the camera basically not calibration uh, it will recenter fast recenter your camera also a physical shortcut just double click the on off button and you will recenter it the second shortcut it will flip it will rotate your camera so you can do this by triple clicking the physical button the on off button like this uh, it depends on you uh, how you use it either on the touch screen or uh, triple click on the physical button again the the next shortcut when you move your gimbal you either move it fast or slow if you run just um, choose this fast mode either choose um, slow motion this is the most important shortcut here you can choose fpv uh, follow mode or tilt locked well how to use these three modes in fpv everything is free um, you see here you have this movement for your camera these waves or Superman mode flying something like this if you choose follow mode you will be able to use your gimbal very very well and the third mode the um, 
tilt locked it's extremely interesting with this mode even your child can use this gimbal if you turn it in any position the camera will follow uh, will follow the the image basically uh, if you are walking and uh, if you want to keep it like this uh, it's fine the camera will uh, will move as you can see here and you don't have to do anything just film that's it it doesn't matter how you move how you hold this device it will always get the best picture because the camera will move and especially it's good when you are walking and you hold it, the device in in that way again if you swipe from left to right you have the gallery you you can see here the pictures you can preview them you can play videos you won't have sound you can delete them or you can add to fav favorites if you slide from um, right to left you will be able to choose photo video slow motion panorama and also you will be able to access their settings you see those three dots it means you have settings just swipe it from the right to the left and you get these settings for each mode here in pictures in photo mode you can choose the ratio and also the countdown this is very useful and very fast again in video you will get settings for uh, frames and resolution you can choose 4k up to 60 frames or 1080p up to 60 frames you will be notified here in the left about uh, your mode 4k now it's 1080p at 60 frames also you can uh, face track in your videos double click on the screen and it will automatically follow the face or the object object that is amazing and so you can do that from your mobile app something like this just drag on the screen the area of interest and the camera will follow that area um, it's very very nice and unique the next uh, mode slow motion you can choose 1080p up to four times slow motion amazing videos you have one on my youtube channel the time lapse this is very interesting you have two modes time lapse normal and motion lapse this is uh, a unique mode because uh, once you select this mode you will have this screen you see here one and two well basically you can capture an area from uh, point one all you have to do is to uh, select to move your camera physically and press the plus on the screen after that move it to the end point and press two on the screen when you press the rec button on the gimbal the camera will automatically start from the point one and it will move to the point two during your video so uh, your final result will uh, will uh, you will get a video from point one to point two the camera will automatic automatically move from the left to the right amazing also in panoramic mode you get two options the classic um, 180 degrees panorama something like this classic and the three by three uh, basically here the gimbal will take nine pictures at maximum resolution and will create a huge image a huge panorama let me show you press it and it will move something like this and it will take nine pictures that is amazing amazing and unique and you'll have an impressive picture okay these are the settings this is the screen in this way you connect it to your uh, smartphone you know it already let me show you the application and the settings and what you can do here very fast 
First of all, it will automatically start, it will open automatically the camera, and here you have a joystick to control your gimbal and your camera. You can rotate it 360 degrees, super cool, as you can see here, and very useful. In the future, I will buy a remote for this gimbal too, because I think it's useful also. You have, if you have Note 9, you will have space to get uh, your, uh, your S Pen, as you can see here. Okay, on the main screen, you have this shortcut, press it and it will flip your camera. Also, uh, here you have the gallery, you can view your pictures, videos, I don't have any of them in this moment. You can download them and so on. On the left of the screen you have the home button to enter camera press here. The next shortcut it's uh, for follow mode, slow mode or fast mode You, if you are work, walking or if you are running uh, and the three modes FPV, free mode, uh, tilt locked and follow. The next one it will let you to choose uh, the resolution for your videos and your frame rates 1080p uh, 4k you can choose the quality fine or super fine for uh, 1080p for example you can choose super fine at 30 frames per second here you can choose video format you can choose anti flicker 50 hertz or 60 if you are filming indoor and your screen is flickering also you will have um, a pro mode here if you want more settings just press this button and you have the classic one and some other settings for example you can choose your balance your white balance cloudy day sunny day uh, I use it on automatic because it's great also you can choose settings you can make some settings for your microphones you can choose low moderate or high depending on the sound you will have to test your sound and choose whatever is best for you I leave it on automatically also you can choose noise reduction or not for me it's always on it's great also you have an uh, uh, histogram you will see the overexposure here or not uh, regarding focus mode I will advise you to choose AFC the first one because it's, it is automatically and continuous. If you want to, to focus to focus only on a subject, choose the second one, click on the screen and it will focus on that subject. Here you have the modes, panel, videos, photos, uh, time lapse and so on. These are the settings I hope um, this video is great for you and useful thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks again